I've gone very big this time in my shoreline pour, which I absolutely love to do. And today I'm sharing my process with you. Hello everyone, this is Bernadette, Simply Be Art in Cape Town. I'm working on a very large canvas. My very first shoreline was on a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. This time I'm going big on an 85 by 60 centimeter. And I'm using the same color palette or similar color palette. I'm going to start with the beige, which is my sand colors. And I'm going to blend that beige with some sand, which is a darker shade of the beige, which will give me the effects of wet sand. My mixing ratios are all at the bottom in the description box. My C colors will start with Prussian blue and then I'm going to add a thalo blue. I'm also going to bring in a cerulean blue as well as a color called Terry Verde. You'll see that next. And that color just gives the um, translucent water color. Um, and I'm hoping that those colors, you know, will show up in the pore. You don't know what's going to happen on your canvas. So I'm starting with the sand. I've mixed up 100 grams of every one of those colors that I've just shown you. And you will notice that I've painted the edges of my canvas the beige, which is already dry. Just making sure that those edges get uh, saturated with enough color. I'm spreading it with the spatula very thinly on the canvas. And I'm also still going to do some tilting. So I've marked the canvas with some lines in pencil that I'm showing you with my finger now. And that gives me the indication line for how far my colors should be spread. Um, when I pour them, I pour them within that band that I've drawn in pencil on the canvas. So I'm laying down the darker shade of beige, which is called a sand or beach sand. And it's local brands, different brands, every color. I'm using dollar paints, I'm using Zalcroft paints, I'm using a Dale Rowney, I'm using an iris. So um, the, the shade or the color that I have an affinity for or I think it will work best in my shoreline, those are the paints that I will reach from the shelf and I will mix that up to the same consistency. So I've put that once again in the description box below. You can go and check out my mixing ratios. Once I've got the sand uh, part laid down on the canvas, I move to the other end of the canvas, which in from your vantage point would be the, the far or the back of the ocean, starting with the darkest color first to give you the perspective of deep water. So I work from darkest to lightest, working my way towards this, the shoreline or, or the sand part that I've already laid down. Stretching the canvas now gets all the excess paint off the canvas. This is an important step you must not miss because when it's drying and there are, if there's a lot of paint on your canvas, it's going to crack. So I've picked up a, some damp paper napkin and I've, I'm dipping it into some white acrylic a fluid paint. And I'm spreading that or swiping it on the sand and on the ocean um, just to give the indication of some foamy sea foam on the sand. Then I've laid down with my squeeze bottle that I use also for my Dutch pour mixes. My Dutch pours, um, I've, uh, you know, sp spread out some white lines where the colors would meet at the intersection of two colors or color bands, I would lay down a row or a line of that acrylic white paint. And then I'm using a um, silicone tubing. It's an aquarium tubing that you would use in a fish tank. Um, you can get it at a pet store. 
I'm using the aquarium tubing just to blow on that white and to spread it over the color to give an indication of a wave or some foamy froth. And now I'm just playing with it, uh, creating perspective, um, trying to get it to look as uh, realistic as possible. And this step takes quite a lot of time. I'm going through it here in just a few minutes, but I think it took me about two hours just blowing, swiping, tweaking, uh, wanting to get the the uh, pour to look as realistic to a beach pour as I possibly could. So don't be hard on yourself. Uh, this is my second shoreline pour and I thoroughly enjoy the process. It is so therapeutic for me and I'm not hard on myself. I just keep working at it. The paint stays wet for quite a long time. It actually took about seven days to dry totally. Once the painting is dry, I then complete it with some texture and I use uh, acrylic paint straight out of the tub, pure acrylic paint, and I add some baking soda to it to give it a rough texture feel and I go over the um, the painting then with the texture. Here you see me mixing the acrylic paint with the baking soda and I've used about um, 30 grams of paint to one teaspoon of baking soda. You can add more if you want a rougher texture. I'm mixing it on a plastic picnic plate and using my palette knife. And now I am scraping up a row of, um, of that paste and I'm spreading it onto the canvas and I'm following that natural line of the wave that was created through the blowing process. Here I'm giving you a closer view. When you scoop up your texture paste, you smear it or press it onto the canvas and it will leave a, a ridge that gives the a nice 3D look or a raised look of that foam, uh, foam from the wave. Um, I continue to do this for the first few rows of my waves just on the shoreline so it, I don't take it very deep into the painting and you will see the final look in just a moment. So I continue to do this. If this is the first time for you joining my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please consider subscribing if you're finding this tutorial useful. I hope that I have inspired you so far and that you will also do a shoreline pour and that you will share your results on social media with us. Um, if you are back and you're watching my videos, thank you for your continued support. I thoroughly enjoy receiving your comments. And please remember to share my videos with your friends and your family, your neighbors and your co-workers. Another close-up now, just showing you how I'm applying the texture to the waves. And this is part of the art therapy. Such a beautiful process. Please do try this at home. <laughs> I'm just about ready to give you your close-up of the final dry results. Thank you for watching and for staying with me. Do take care.
Until the next video, bye.